le tsogile a ile rona re tsogile Sanya for lovers my cuties and I am here today at Clay Cafe um, I'm here to celebrate my cousin's birthday and I think it's going to be quite a cute day we're going to be crafting having chats and just being wholesome so let's share the love let's spread the love and let's see what art we can create yeah.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's your name? Hi. Uh, my name is Nicola. I'm Kiaska Spray. Tequila. 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 This is not TV. This is not TVC, ma'am. I want the natural elements. Here's Kia. <laughs> Where are you studying? Uh, That's proper. Without a body, and your breath 
is the only rope that carries you to shore at times. It is the only base that, that keeps you afloat. When you are drowning, it turns shedding. Shedding, shedding, turns sinking. Then dissolved and started dreaming. I think bed is tired too now. Body doesn't know where to go to wash away the pain. Day begins. Thank you. You can change your style. Directors have a hard time letting the film go, you know, like, uh, especially because writers are, di directors are usually either the writer or the producer of the film, or both. or both, so I've written it, I've researched it, I've gotten the money for it, then I was like, okay, how am I going to get up from this, what's going to pull me up, where am I going to plant my feet once I get up, um, what is my goal, where am I going to be, and like, who do I want to be now that this thing is here?
I think so. I think we are live. Okay, so the painting behind us, that was originally called Botiana, uh, but, or Bot Baddy actually, there were two names. Um, and she's got a sticker on her thigh of IOT, and she is the leader of a revolution of the Internet of Tribe. Um, I guess in some, I think in some instances she could be considered a villain. Um, because she's disrupting a particular system that's already working. Um, and her perspective is to kind of re revolutionize it, give it a new face, give it a new name. So she is that. And she's a, she's a humanoid. So half human, half robot. Um, her origin story could be anything. It could be that she was once a human and then turned into a robot for a number of things. But that is Botoza. Is her name? Yes. There we've got a robot, not necessarily human, but symbolic of science fiction, African science fiction, bony, and but has almost like this humanish effect with all the veins from the neck. It almost feels like it's fragile. If you were to cut any of those wires, they would die almost immediately. Things would start spilling out. But the point is also to make the, the robot have like an essence of humanness in that. Um, but it's about the marrying of Africanness and technology. Kind of seeing it not as two far-fetched ideas, but things that can live together, things that can be in the same sentence. And that's Botu. Okay, and then that painting over there, that is a self-portrait of the artist. So it is said that with every collection, an artist usually should include a self-portrait of themselves. So Viweb had this image of himself taken, and then he kind of created a skeletal, robotic feel on the actual painting. So it gives like it has like this mechanic about it but his eyes are very emotive he almost looks sad um, or maybe I don't know infatuated captivated by something but his eyes are very telling even though everything is quite robotic jugular straight non-linear um, but his eyes are and yeah that's a self-portrait this one has a particular story yeah and the story is about a Tosa queen who actually sold off of, um, all of the money that belonged to the Tosa tribe. And this is kind of the reincarnate of that queen, of that goddess, into half humanoid, like half human, half robot. Um, and again, it's just about reimagining, you know, black stories, um, black myths, folk tales, and everything that's associated with Afrocentricity and giving it that digital touch that puts that kind of work in today um, and puts the future right now. So that is the connection. And just making sure that the memories of the gods and the goddesses that look like us can still have space in here today. Rights and stuff, you know. <laughs> also, that souls have transference, and it's difficult for you to understand that you are now inhibited by some other entity. None of it was like happening, none of it was coming, none of it, like everything was stopping, but I was still like, we need to go, we need to push, we need to, you know? And then once, it's like running into a brick wall every day. And then until, like you just can't get up, like you just, you're just sitting there like, I don't even have the energy to get up. Then I was like, okay, how am I gonna get up from this? What's gonna pull me up? 
where am I going to plant my seeds once I get up? Um, what is my goal? Where am I going to be? And like, who do I want to be? I'll be talking to you. Checking okay. the mic. <laughs> I am checking the mic. 